This is how Cyprus looks from the very top and let's hike together in this video. Hey everybody, it's Riku Go and in this video we are going hiking here in Cyprus. We are going to visit some hidden places as well as awesome beautiful spots where you usually don't go to. I've already rented a buggy and now we're going to pick up my girlfriend because she has no idea what we're going to do. It's gonna be a surprise for her and then we are going to start this awesome day. So let's start. Surprise is here. <laughs> I heard it. Hey, baby. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna drive with the buggy. I will watch you first. To the mountain. Yay. And then we're gonna do hiking. And then we're gonna have some more and more surprises along the way. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> this is our view from our apartment. This is the reason we fell in love with this apartment right away. We love it. The pool is actually very aesthetic and big. I'm very excited to jump into it, but not today. Today we're gonna jump in My some other things. My cheeks are hurting because I'm smiling so much. <laughs> so this is yours. Yes. And this is mine, everything is packed. What do you need? Something awesome? We just need some good vibes and the buggy and ourselves. And now we can start with this adventurous Saturday. destination and that is coffee. Let's enjoy and grab two iced coffees and then we continue our drive. Hi, we would like to get uh, two coffees, cappuccinos with soya vanilla milk. Would you leave your dog in the car? No. Not even when getting a coffee, right? By the way, we decided to drink some hot coffee instead of the iced coffee and now we slightly regret it even though we still love it, but it is getting very hot now. It's actually pretty funny because Right before we moved to Paphos, we looked at many, many properties that we should live in. And one of those properties is this house right there. So we almost decided to live in this house complex right here with the first floor as well as the ground floor. And the crazy part about this house is the rent. It's actually also just 500 euros to live with a view like that, with three bedrooms, as well as the jacuzzi in the garden and your own private garden over there. So this is really awesome. But as you can see, it is pretty far away from the city, especially from Paphos, which takes about 20, 30 minutes. And thinking about meeting some friends there multiple times a week. So we just decided against moving here and then we live in Cloracas now. But this is definitely a beautiful house for a very low rent. So whenever you're here, you can also decide to live here in Peya, which is beautiful. And you can slightly see the ship over there, which you can also see from our balcony. So it's pretty far away to this ship. This is a ship that just stands there and it's, it's like a decoration for Paphos. We're doing a little stop to buy sunglasses for Tabea. So I forgot mine. <laughs> and also, we found a very cool city here with a harbor and some kiosk here and also the people are working on their ships, boats and yachts and whatever 
Over there we can see even more buggies and quads for rent. So let's get some great sunglasses for Tabea. Over there someone is driving his boat. I would say some like these. It's exactly your style. Try them on. Then we're gonna also get you a cute hat. I don't need a hat. You need a hat. Now it's yours. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Guys, we finally made it to the first final destination where we are going actually hiking. Look at this beautiful view here. I don't know if it's as awesome on video as in real life. I don't think so. You definitely have to be here in order to get the real vibes. It is just astonishing. Tabea can confirm that. How do you like it? How do you like the drive? It's awesome. It's very blue in the water. Yeah, I also love the combination of blue water with green nature you can even hear the birds singing we are somewhere between lachi beach here in cyprus now and baths of aphrodite i hope i pronounced it right and it's definitely beautiful here it's almost at the very top of cyprus at the very little end i also definitely thought that there are much less people here so that is very surprising to me but now let's start with the hike damn this is literally crystal blue water, Tabea. And there are people down there. Let's visit them. Tabea, I found the path. This is the path to crystal blue, blue lagoon water. From our home to here, how many minutes did it take us? Uh, like 40? 40 minutes and then we have something like that. Heaven. <laughs> I don't think it looks that awesome on camera, but it is beautiful. You can't even see that there's water. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow, it's not even cold at all. Damn, that's really cool. Let's go in. Let's go inside, I right? I have to get my bikini on though. <laughs> We are ready for the water now. It is it's so, so clear. clear. By the way, we didn't tell him. What did we see while we were driving here? Right before we arrived? Oh, we saw a snake on the street. <laughs> it was the first time you were seeing a snake, right? Over there are people puddle surfing. Do you know what that means? That means we have to buy a puddle board and also do that. No, we were really thinking about buying puddle board so the puddle board is like a really cool hobby that you can just get out put it on your car and have a puddle board session at the sea so and this dude over there is snorkeling mm -hmm. he's probably seeing some fishes or turtles maybe so the people with the puddle board they just came here and we <laughs> found out that they have a dog <laughs> a big fish he lives here with his family so the little shortcut was worth it and now we're continuing our hike so we were walking for a couple of minutes and now we found a fence so we have to find another solution to get up there and start with the hiking Decisions have to be made and my gut feeling says to the left, so there are we're gonna go to the left the parking spot again. <laughs> So we could yeah, I think we just made a circle for now Wow, I think we're gonna do a little Lunch snacky break, break. <laughs> it's Akamas Botanic Garden Bath of Aphrodite oh, okay. That is exactly where we're going. Oh, really? Yep. So, that's the trail, I guess. That is the trail, right. 
So this is our lunch break place for today. <laughs> yes. And Tabea prepared some Brötchen. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> Brötchen, it's the German word. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I love Brötchen. <laughs> so it's called bun. Tasty bun. Okay. Exactly, that's it. Aphrodite Trail. With beautiful nature, sceneries. Yep, and we have a long way before us. This is, by the way, exactly what I meant that Cyprus is also very green. We can hear some water. I feel like we're in, I don't know. In a tropical place. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of the Adonis bath. Aphrodite and Adonis, some Greek methodology. Very interesting. And look at this beautiful place here. And this place right here is usually not very common. So, of course, there are a lot of tourists here, but when you hear about Cyprus, this place right here, in my opinion at least, is not something that comes up first. First, <laughs> things come out like the waterfalls and the cities, Limassol, Lanaka, etc. But, yeah, this is some insider travel destination right here that we are enjoying very much. And this is, by the way, the private area that had the fence and didn't want us to go through. So now we have an even better trail that we are walking. It doesn't, it's, it's not scared. Getting higher and higher with every step. That's the place where we've been in the water and all the people with the cars driving here and with their buggies they are just going the lazy way driving all the way up but not us we are hiking today all right we arrived at number two the second floor which means we are on the right track everything is just going smoothly as long as you know everything's gonna be all right everything is gonna be all right <laughs> As long as I got you and I can hold your hand. Yes, Tabia, please sing right here <laughs> on the hiking track because we don't have radio. So, Tabia, please sing. No, no, no. Actually, I need to press the button in order for you to sing. No, don't so, <laughs> like that. And the jukebox is turned on. Oh, I don't want to sing. Here we got another bench for a break but we don't need a break we just continue and I think we are almost at the top as we are looking down there seeing only blue water and the contrast you can even see the contrast between the color of the water and thinking and imagine that this water right here is just invincible <laughs> invisible there's really not much going on here except nature and solitude and I'm very amazed by how not a lot of people are here on this trail right here we haven't met one person so it's very beautiful and you can really calm down here and enjoy your walk I'm just getting started and after we are at the top, we're also going all the way up there to the other mountain. Let's go. And then to this mountain. Do you think we can do this in July, August, when it's 40 degrees? This time, no. 6 a.m., maybe. <laughs> I think we are the only people today 
that walked all the way up here. We made it guys to the top. This is a nice view and it was definitely worth it. The cool thing about the way down is that we always have a pretty view. And when we compare going up the hill versus going down the hill, it is actually much more exhausting going up the hill, but for the muscle contraction, it is much more intense going down just because you have this constant isometric contraction of stopping with every step that you don't fall, fall like this <laughs> fell down. So you can get much more easily sore just by going down than going up. And it's better for your muscle buildings also to go down. And it's always very important after a very intense hiking that you eat a lot of carbs as well as relax your muscles and have a rest day afterwards. We are doing a better tour. <laughs> Without the guide, I'm the guide in our tour. Yes, you are. And guess what? I can see our buggy standing there and waiting for us. And we are back in the buggy. The hike was awesome, but we are not done yet. So let's go to the next destination. That's a beautiful house. One thing I really enjoy doing is just looking at awesome, big, luxurious houses because this is just so astonishing to me, the business model of a property. You can own a house that you rent out to other people. Let's say you get a credit from the bank and then you buy the house and over many years, let's say 10 to 20 years, you never actually pay money for the house because you also get rent from your tenants. So you go to the bank, you get $100,000 or euros from the bank, you pay this money to someone that is selling a house, then you own a house, but you pay off the 100,000 on a monthly basis. So let's say you pay 500 euros to the bank every month and you get from your tenants 600 euros. So you're not just having a 100 euros cash flow, but also at the same time, you're paying off your loan on a monthly basis. And after 10 to 15 years, depends on how your loan is structured, after the end of this period, you actually own the house. So you never spend any money. And if you're lucky, you even make cash flow out of the house. So you're getting money just because you're taking the risk of buying this house with the help of a bank or a credit institute. And then after all those years, you actually own this house and you can even do this multiple times. So you need to have a high credit score in order to do that. But once you're able to do this, you have a very high momentum. And when you retire, you cannot just live rent free, but you also get even more income from all of your properties and you have a very stable income because everybody needs houses and you will always have someone if you have a house in a nice location that is paying rent for your property. That is actually a very small harbor compared to Limassol for example, but it's still very cute, I like it. Especially with the restaurants and beach bars and little shops in front of the harbor and look at this house, it just looks very traditional. And we are going at the beach bar right over there. So it is the beach bar, Tabia. Oh yeah. That's where we're going now. Cool. And drinking something awesome and tasty because we deserved it. Yeah. Hi. 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 Thank you. Yep. We made it to the cocktail bar and now enjoying the evening. For a restaurant I find little things like the menu card very important actually. If it looks like shit I have the feeling that the food and drinks are also not good so this is pretty decent. I like it. Tabea wanted a pink drink. We are going to cheers to this day. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby.
this wine is actually perfect for Tabea because it's very sweet and fruity and this is exactly what Tabea likes. But what did you get yourself? Mango and sweet sauce. Enjoy that one. Now it is Tabea's time to drive the buggy. Let's go! Now we're in neutral. Why start, okay? And now I, before I push it to forward, there is a long space where nothing happens, but as soon as you hit the barrier, it's gonna drive very fast. So be careful, okay? There is no car coming. I'm gonna put it into forward. So slow. Slowly, slowly. So, while I was in the shower, someone already prepared the pizza. Let's put it into the oven, close the door, and then enjoy the pizza. And the water. Thank yes. you very much. Welcome. The pizza, which is very crusty. Yes. You've done a very good job. Thank you. And now we are enjoying the evening with the sunset and our own nice view right here from the balcony thank you very much for watching this video and joining us on our hike today definitely make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about the cyprus lifestyle as well as other interesting topics and leave a comment if you have any questions and leave a like as well as ring the bell button and i will see you in the next video